Stamping dies are the tools that shape and cut sheet metal parts. The design and production of dies is a specialized profession in which prepared drawings are translated into stamping dies by skilled craftsmen known as die makers. These stamping dies are then mounted in presses where sheet metal is fed to them either individually as cut blanks or continuously from coils. There, the press provides the force to close the dies where they form the sheet metal into finished parts. The term die can be confusing since it represents two different things. As a generic term, it represents the entire press tooling used to cut and form metal. However, the term die can also refer to only the female half of the tool set. The male punch mates with the female die and working in opposition to each other, they form shapes and punch holes in sheet metal. The term die set refers to the upper and lower die assemblies, which are also called punch and die holders or shoes, as well as other components. Die sets can take many forms, shapes, and sizes. The upper half of the die set is clamped to the press ram, while the lower half is secured to the bolster plate on the press bed. The die halves are opened and closed by movement of the press ram. Guide pins sliding in matched bushings or ball bearing bushings align the upper and lower half of the die set. Basic die operations include cutting, bending, forming, drawing, and squeezing. The two most common types of dies, however, are cutting dies and forming dies. Cutting which includes shearing, blanking, hole punching, and trimming is the most common press working operation using dies. Shearing is a process by which large sheets of material are cut into smaller sections. These pieces are generally used in later operations. Blanking is a form of shearing that cuts sheet metal stock around the complete perimeter of a shape to form a workpiece blank. Reference to a blank in stamping usually implies the need to perform subsequent operations to the workpiece. Punching is the cutting of a slug from the sheet metal stock to produce a hole. After a part has been formed, a trimming die is utilized to remove the excess scrap metal from the workpiece. Forming is a broad term for metalworking processes in which the shape of a punch and die is reproduced directly in the metal. Some common forming operations done with press-mounted dies include drawing, bending, flanging, and hemming. Drawing shapes a flat pre-cut metal blank by forcing it into a die cavity with a punch without excessive wrinkling, thinning, or fracturing of the metal. Various complex forms may be produced by drawing. Drawn parts may vary in size from small parts up to aircraft and automotive parts large enough to require mechanical handling equipment. Bending is performed on sheet metal to gain rigidity and to produce a part of desired shape. Bending is usually done to make structural stampings such as brackets, braces, and supports. Flanging is a forming operation similar to bending except that the flanged edge is shorter and narrower compared to the overall part size. A flange can be bent down along a straight or curved line and is used for appearance, rigidity, edge strengthening, removing a sheared edge, and to provide an accurately positioned fastening surface. In sheet metal forming, hemming is utilized primarily to provide a smooth, rounded finished edge and to attach sheet metal parts together. Multiple operations may be carried out on sheet metal stock either at a single die station or at multiple stations within a single stroke of the press. Dies used in single station operations can be either compound dies or combination dies. Compound dies are press tools in which only cutting operations are done, usually blanking and hole punching. Combination dies are press tools in which a cutting operation usually blanking, is combined with shaping or forming operations. Multiple station operations are done with dies that have several stations. 
Each station simultaneously performs a single step in a series of operations needed to complete a part. Finished workpieces are discharged with each stroke. Multiple station operations can be performed using either progressive dies or transfer dies. In progressive die operations, parts are made from continuous coil stock and remain connected to the stock by a carrier strip during each successive operation until the final cutoff and discharge from the die. In transfer die operations, parts are blanked before or at the beginning of the sequential operations. Mechanical transfer devices grip and move the individual workpieces from die station to die station within a single die to complete a progression of operations. With large workpieces, a tandem press line may be utilized. Parts are transferred by gripping devices from press to press, instead of within a single die. Each press within the tandem line holds its own tooling and performs specific operations to form, trim, and pierce the part.